The Ohio Education Association wants lawmakers to drop the requirement where third graders must pass the standardized reading test or get held back a year. The union represents Ohio school teachers. It claims this law, which they refer to as a one-size-fits-all, simply does not work. And in this Dayton Gets Real story, New Center 7's Mike Campbell talked with union leaders and consultants who claim the law has greater negative impact on low-income students than other students. The proposal is that third graders, even if they didn't pass a standardized reading test, would not be kept from moving to the next grade level at this school or any school across the state of Ohio. Bottom line, uh, it's a policy that doesn't work. Uh, so we shouldn't be continuing with policies that, that, that aren't effective. Scott DeMauro is the president of the OEA, representing 20,000 Ohio school teachers. He says almost all of them hate the state law passed almost a decade ago that requires third graders to be held back if they don't pass a standardized state-sponsored reading test. First of all, how devastating to a child's um, ego and self-esteem to know, first of all, that you failed, and then it's almost like wearing this proverbial scarlet letter. But there is more opposition. Consultants the OEA is working with believe the policy impacts minority and poor students at higher levels than other students. Students who are struggling with racism, with poverty, with uh, a number of things beyond their control. 92% of the students who were retained were economically disadvantaged. Dr. Christina Collins works for the Ohio Department of Education. She is supporting those working to convince state lawmakers to drop the mandatory retention policy for failing the third grade test. And she says the state's own numbers seem to show the policy is not helping poor readers develop their skills. She reports that the state averages more than 3,600 third graders held back for failing the test each year. But she points out that after a year, only 14% of those repeat third graders were deemed proficient in reading. And only 8% were then deemed proficient after their fourth grade school year. One teacher turned lawmaker says the policy should be dropped. So that the, the teachers then can uh, change the way that they're teaching to that child or they can adjust where that child is, you know, who's getting intervention, who isn't. This policy fundamentally is disrespectful of the expertise of educators. These educational leaders believe teachers and parents should make the decisions about reading and retention. This is one of those things that that drives a wedge. It's an, it's an outside hammer uh, that gets in the way of true collaboration between parents and educators. Educators say they know best what is best for an individual student and one size fits all requirements are not helping children read any better. In Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. The State House passed the plan to drop this mandatory grade retention for third grades. Now it is with the state Senate.